Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in it, I'm going to show you how to make a Smurf cake. Uh, this is for my daughter's seventh birthday. Look, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, you know, I've got the Smurf house, three Smurfs. Um, these are very basic, basic Smurf vanity there. Um, and um, yeah, I'll show the tutorial. Part of the way through it, I've done the Smurfs sort of by, by way of photos because I just, the TV was on and I was doing it in front of the TV and my husband was watching and I couldn't really film it. So um, yeah, but they're very basic Smurfs. But yeah, anyway, hope you enjoy. Okay, so first part is just making the base of the um, toadstool. So I've just used a light blue. You could use a white. Um, I just happen to have this, so I'm using it. And I've just sort of smoothed it out. It is going to get heavier as it falls down. Um, but you want it to obviously be a bit thinner up here and a bit wider out here. I am going to use a stick. Look, it, it, it's a massive chunk of fondant to put on the cake. So I am going to just um, stab it in the bottom so that it's got a support. Um, so I'll do that and then I'm going to roll out some brown and start working on the door. Okay, so next up I've just rolled out some brown. You can see that's the original colour of my brown. And I have um, added some white and a bit of Tylo powder. I've got my two Tylo powders there. Just to make it a bit, um, just to lighten it up a little bit. Now uh, with the windows, here's my computer. This is sort of what I'm going to copy. So with the wood. So I'm going to aim to do my door like that um, and some windows sort of similar um, I have got this I've got this here it's a um, clay print so it's wood grain so basically I'm going to it's quite easy you just press it press it onto your wood onto your brown and then that's going to give it the look I can't do it with one hand sorry of wood grain so I'm going to do this I'm just going to then cut out planks of wood um, that I'm then going to to stick onto you can see there um, the base I'm going to stick it onto there so I'll, I'll make them quite thin okay so you can see I've put my my three planks of wood there and um, the one on top um, I'm now just going to do the windows literally just cut out a square and put a plank of wood either side of the square um, I'll do two of those it doesn't really look that exciting right now I may put like a little tiny door knocker thing on um, yeah. Okay, so you can see I've got the wooden sort of front door on. You see the wood grain. I've just done the window like that. Look, this is for my daughter. This is a topper. No one is going to eat this. Um, my dog actually munched on it, which is why I'm just prefacing this by saying that. See, you can see that there. It's going to go in the bin and it's going to be on top of something else. So, yeah, that's the other window. So it is a bit wonky now. Um, I'm just trying to resurrect it got my red uh, this is pre-colored red I've mixed it with a bit of white because it's quite soft fondant and then I've added my tylo powder now I'm going to make attempt to make sort of the toadstool top with it um, no idea how I'm going to do that yet just uh, give it a go Okay, so I've added the roof on. Now I've just, um, which I'm just gonna let that sort of sit over there. Um, I've rolled out like a sausage of um, brown and cut it on a slope so that I can just, where do I do it? Stick it up like that for the chimney. Just gonna make some little indents in it just so it looks kind of like a, a real wooden um, chimney. I've just sort of been getting a stick and, you know, trying to make some wood grain sort of looks in it then I'll stick that on just, uh, rolled out some white fondant and uh, cut out some circles which I'm now just going to stick on the top of my toast I'm going to make the door knocker I've rolled out some white fondant fairly thickly um, I'm just going to basically stamp the two circles to get just a thin ring okay, it's a bit too big so what I've done is I've just chopped a bit of it off and I've just moved this sort of a bit closer together I'm going to roll out a tiny little ball and that's going to go on the Oh, it's supposed to go on the bottom. Um, so, yeah, I'll chuck that on now. The hay. So that is kind of it. Oh, that door knocker, nothing special. i uh, got my little things on it. Look, that's it for now. Um, that's good enough. I'm going to put it far away from my puppy so she doesn't get it. So this is my cake covered. Not the best job, but, you know, it'll do. Uh, I'm going to sort of have a little pathway curving around, I think, and down the cake. So I'm just trying to position my little house. 
um, which I think is going to go there. So what I've done is I've cut, just because that is a full chunk of fondant, um, I've cut a cake down. I'm going to stick it in and then um, stick on my house. Yeah, I've stuck the whole thing in um, and it should be enough to go um, all the way for... Um, it should be enough to go all the way in. I'm just going to turn around the other way so the pointy ends at the top. So there we go, that is stuck on. I've used a bit of water underneath it. Not that it really matters anyway. Um, next thing I think I might do a little path, or maybe actually I might just, uh, I'm going to paint on some grass and probably put Ava and then I need to, I've been putting off doing the Smurfs, so I need to actually start making some Smurfs. Okay, so that is the end of the cake. I'm really quite happy with how it worked. Um, I have got a tutorial for painting on the grass, which I'll link to. Um, you can see my little Smurfs. I've just basically made out of fondant a little square um, and then put, uh, you can see a little um, blossom on top of that. So done that that way and a strip of fondant to go around. The underneath isn't, you can see that's got there. Um, vanity. Is there? Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's um, worked out. Hope you enjoy the tutorial.